yo, go on your phone right now, go on your settings and look at how much time you spend on any apps that you have on your phone. More specifically, look at how much time you spend on these social media apps. And you'll be surprised that you have noticed that you spend a lot of your time, probably more than two hours on these social media apps on a daily basis. And this is something that I used to have. I used to have a lot of time on social media. I used to have a lot of time built up. I used to have, I remember I used to have like eight hours plus screen time on my phone. And the majority of that time was spent on social media because you know, when you're on your phone all the time, like what are you most likely doing? You're not playing video games right on your phone. You're most likely on social media apps. You're most likely on any of these social media apps and you're just scrolling scrolling and you know probably texting with your friends here and there but the majority of the time you're spending your screen time you're spending all this time racking up all these hours mostly on social media and so if you were to look right now how much time you spend on social media you'll be surprised because that's what i was i was like hold up i have more than eight hours on my phone that eight hours a day like you got to think about it we sleep for eight hours we have 16 16 hours left right so that means i spent half of the time that i have throughout the day half of 16 hours, eight hours, I spent half of that on my phone. Like that's a lot of time wasted doing absolutely nothing, right? And when you start to become an adult, you cannot spend a lot of your time on social media. I go on social media, I consume social media content here and there, but I don't consume it as much as I used to. You know, before I'm telling you guys, like I would go to sleep and I would be on my phone before I go to sleep. I'll be hours on my phone laying down in my bed. I would go to sleep at 12 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. I would wake up. I wouldn't even express gratitude. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't meditate. So since it's giving you all this content that you want to watch, it can be that addicting. It starts to get addicting. You start to scroll and scroll and scroll. And next thing you know, hours pass by and you're still on your bed or you're still having done the important tasks that you have to do. And now you notice that you just wasted like 30 or in a minute or an hour just being on your phone doing absolutely nothing meaningful like nothing that's gonna help you in any way like i'm telling you i used to have eight plus screen time hours daily on my phone and it's not like i was on my phone doing anything productive it's not like i was on my phone you know on meetings or on calls important calls no i was on my phone doing you know irrelevant shit you know being on my on social media apps scrolling you know comparing myself to others when i would just you know be on social media so much and i would just feel like my life was not you know, I would feel like lost and I would feel like behind, you know, when I would spend the majority of my time on social media because that's what happens. And so what I started to do when I noticed that I was on my phone too much and I was on social media a lot, I started to read a book instead of being on social media, instead of being on my phone. Whenever I catch myself, you know, going from app to app to app, you know, going on a cycle, we, you know, because that's what we do. We go from Instagram, Twitter, you know, TikTok, maybe you have Facebook and you go from these apps, you know, you circle around them. You go from app to app to app and you go back to the same thing again. It's like a cycle. And whenever I would catch myself doing that, I would stop myself and I would become aware of it. And then next thing you know, I would grab a book and I start to read. I would start to read a book that, you know, is way better. Like reading a book is way better than being on social media and doing nothing. Like unless you're producing content on social media, there's no other reason why you have to spend the majority of your time on it. You know, because if you're spending the majority of your time on social media and you're not getting any type of benefit from it, you're not producing any type of content, you're not producing anything and you're just consuming a lot. There's no reason why you should be on it so much because all it's doing is, is hurting you mentally, it's hurting your mental health, it's getting to you a lot more. You start to compare yourself to others and that's basically what happens when you're on social media so much. You know, social media is not bad. It just depends on how you use the app. You know, it's a tool. Social media is a tool. It's used as a tool. You could use it to your advantage or it could take advantage of you. So I started to read these books instead of, you know, being on social media and scrolling mindlessly on my phone. There's actually been a study that the more time you spend on social media, the more likely you will feel depressed or you will feel sad. You will feel anxious. You will have to a lot of more anxiety. So whenever you find yourself being on social media, instead of spending so much time on it, you know, it's not bad to be on social media. It's not bad to scroll here and there. I'm not saying never do it, you know, because I do it myself. It's okay to happen, but just don't do it as much as you used to. Don't be on it so much that you have, you're have you racking up hours on your phone just being on social media, especially if you're not producing any type of content. Like if you're going to be on social media a lot, at least produce something. At least start a page on Instagram or on Twitter or start a TikTok. Like I'm, when I started my TikTok, I, before that, I didn't even have a TikTok. I know that TikTok was very addicting. That's the reason why I didn't even download TikTok back then because I knew that it was very, very addicting. But then I realized like TikTok is a tool, social media is a tool. So instead of me not being on social media, let me just take advantage of social media and let me just go on TikTok and let me create an account and let me start posting something. And the funny thing is that so TikTok is so addicting that I don't even be on it as much as someone would think. That's probably the app that I spend the less time on than any other app. Start an Instagram account, start posting something that you wanna post. Maybe you wanna motivate people, you wanna inspire people. Maybe you're starting your weight loss journey. You wanna you know, post your updates. You wanna update people like, hey, look, I'm losing this amount of weight. Or maybe you're trying to gain muscle and you're trying to you know, 
put out the content out there of your journey on gaining muscle or maybe you want to show your journey on becoming a wealthy person or reaching financial freedom whatever it is things that are going to inspire others and be like oh look this person is doing what i want to do let me you know get on my shit back when i would spend a lot of time on social media i would see myself you know throwing my day not doing anything productive or anything meaningful you know i wouldn't work on something meaningful back then and when i started to work on something meaningful when i started to build on something I started to realize that I would spend a lot less time on my phone in general. Like I would spend a lot less time on social media because I would be busy doing other things that were more important to me. So if you want to spend less time on social media, if you want to spend less time on your phone in general, you know, do work on something meaningful, you know, figure out what you find meaningful, figure out what you want to build, anything that you want to work on that you, you know, are very excited that you are noticing growth. Now you won't spend your time on social media because you now know that you have other important things that you're looking forward to doing. What happens is when you go on social media, you get dopamine and this dopamine is not real dopamine. It's fake dopamine. And that's why it's so dangerous to be on it a long time. And one other thing you can do to lower your social media time. And let me tell you, after I did this, I saw my time on social media lower a lot. Is to go on a social media detox. Now you can go on a social media detox for a week, for a month. I recommend doing it for a month, you know, because a week is not really as much. You know, a week flies by like this nowadays. Like literally it feels like the week just started and the week is about to end. So the week literally goes by like this. You can try it for a week, but I really recommend going on it for a month. A month is a very great way to go on a social media detox because now you will start to realize like you're not missing out on anything on social media. You know, you don't have to be on it every single day. You know, I went on a total of five months on a social media detox before. And let me tell you, when I went on these detoxes on social media, I would spend a lot less time on social media. And now I spend a lot of time on social media because since I went through that process of not being on social media for a month, for two months, for three months, I already know what it's like to not be on social media for a day or for a week. Right, I'm not missing on anything because I know what it feels like to not be on social media for a whole entire month. If you find yourself being on social media a lot, then go on a social media detox. Go on a detox and try to rewire your brain to not be addicted to this fake dopamine that you're getting from social media. And what you will notice is that when you're on this social media detox, you might even notice that you don't want even want to come back on social media because especially if you're not producing anything, like if you're not producing any, any type of content on social media and you go on a social media detox, you may find out that you don't want to go back on social media because you start to realize that like, you don't need it in your life. You know, your life is perfectly fine without it. When I came back from it, I noticed myself being on social media a lot less. Why? Because I started to change my routines throughout my day. Now that my day didn't consist of being on social media the majority of the time, I implemented a lot more things throughout my day that, you know, were to working on something meaningful. And now when I came back on social media, I wasn't on social media as much because now my days were productive. Now my days were spent doing other things more meaningful because I figured out what meaningful was when I felt what it's like to not be on social media. But anyways, these are things that you can do to lower your screen time on social media. So spend less time on social media and spend more time on living actual life, you know, because we also have a real life outside of social media and spend that small time amount that you have left on social media. Like I said, we're all human. I go on social media myself as well. I just don't spend as much time as I used to before, you know, back when I would be on my bed you know waking up on social media going to sleep on social media throughout your day on social media like i used to do that and when i stopped doing that and i started doing other important things i saw my life shift a lot but anyways that's all i gotta say i'm out